doing a little experiment today. Uh, I'm going down to the market, which is about 8, 10 kilometers away from here, uh, like six, five, six miles. And I want to find out what happens if I don't have my saddle correctly adjusted. So I have it now in the perfect position, which is adjusted for my height. And I'm going to lower it for the first half of the ride and then see what happens, how I feel. And I'm going to raise it a bit too high for the second half of the ride and then see what it feels like. So I want to find out if there is any short term uh, negative uh, impressions and I'll let you know. why this experiment is interesting even though I'm only doing a short ride is because I have the trailer with me which is some extra weight and even though it's empty now it does add extra resistance so in theory if it's bad it should make things worse I can already feel that I am not as efficient pedaling as I am when I have the saddle at the correct height but so far no pain so I'm about halfway to the market with the saddle about an inch and a half, two inches too low and uh, I can feel where it's going to cause an issue if I keep it like this. Uh, I can feel it under the kneecap. It, there is just some extra stress that shouldn't be there that I don't normally feel when I ride my bike. So the other thing I noticed was that my thighs are burning uh, which is of course made it worse by the extra weight but um, but I don't feel that when I ride with the saddle uh, adjusted correctly so yeah that's something else of course it's nice to to be able to almost put, like put down both of my feet so I can touch the ground so I can see how that boosts your confidence if you're a new rider and why it's so tempting to have the saddle too low. So now I'm going to raise the saddle uh, a bit too high. I'm going to raise it about an inch and a half or two inches too high. So that's it. That's definitely too high. I don't think I'm even going to be able to mount this bike. So let's see if I can make it to the market. So I've done a few miles with the saddle too high now and what surprises me is just how soon I could feel that it was much worse than riding with the saddle too low. And although my thigh is not burning anymore, everything else is uncomfortable. Uh, I can feel the knee a little bit, uh, I can feel the calves, I could barely touch the pedals because I was on tippy toes. When I got off the bike for a red light, uh, getting on the bike was much more difficult. It was just poking my bum, the saddle was poking my bum. So yeah, not great. Of course, I exaggerated here, but, uh, but it just goes to show you that it is important to get the saddle height uh, right. So when I go there, that's where my destination is. Uh, so cross the bridge and uh, do some shopping.
90 pounds of groceries in the trailer so I'm not going to ride with the saddle too high or too low I'm going to set it just right because I suspect that it's going to be heavy enough and let's see what happens I'm guessing it's going to be very slow Boy, this is heavy. This is heavy. I'm riding so slow now because of the extra weight, but I'm telling you, the saddle height makes all the difference. It's just right. It's perfectly set for my height and uh, it's comfortable. Sure, I'm not going fast, but uh, there's no unnecessary strain on my muscles on, or on the joints. So, in conclusion, get the saddle height right just so much more comfortable it makes riding so much easier and so much more enjoyable so even if you're not an elite racer which if you are you're probably not watching this but even if you're just a commuter or a casual cyclist get it right because it, it it's better to ride it that way and of course there are some long-term effects or long-term ill effects that you can avoid by getting the saddle height right. So what's this, the right saddle height? Well, a good starting point is the hip bone height uh, is a good indicator that your saddle is at the right height. For me, it's just, just that, just that. My hip bone is in line with the top of the saddle and that is perfect for me. Uh, another way to measure it is to put the pedal in the six o'clock position and place your heel on the pedal it should be your legs should be almost locked out almost completely straight if you're riding and you feel that you have to rock left and right uh, that means it's a good indicator that your saddle is too high you can also feel some unnecessary strain on your uh, on your calf muscles and uh, maybe on your knee a little bit now if you have too much strain on your knee and your thigh as well, that's a good indicator that you have your saddle too low. So experiment with it, uh, just small adjustments can make a big difference and have fun, ride your bike every day. This has been Sam from Bike Commuter Hero, come check out the channel, give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one, take care, bye bye.